Well, good morning, everybody. It is eclipse day today, and uh, so far the weather is fantastic. So, just so you know, it is the 8th of April. It is uh, it's about quarter to seven in the morning. There's already a few people here, and this is going to be closed down very shortly, which is the uh, parking area for the boat ramp. But there is a few people coming. Uh, but behind me, it was a very, very nice sunrise this morning over Buffalo. And in about eight hours time, we'll be witnessing the eclipse. But just check out the colors on the other side. Uh, the colors are spectacular this morning on the west side caused by the uh, rising sun. So I'll just spin it around. Guess it's gonna be busy later on, I don't know, but I will be coming down here shortly once the, the day gets going. I got my bike packed with me, so I'm gonna park my truck up for the day and uh, cycle everywhere. I think I can remember how to uh, cycle. <laughs> it's been a while, it's been three years since I've ridden that. So anyway, um, here's a sunrise and then we'll carry on our day. around seven o'clock now there's a few people milling around they're just dying to set up the uh, paid parking lot just over here and uh, these people walking on towards the beach so I think in the next hour or so they'll start getting busy so I'm gonna hang around here for a little bit have my morning coffee then I'll cycle home I'll be back down later on for the fun and games Come down from Cambridge? I came from Oakville. Oakville, not too far then. All from Cambridge, Oakville? Half, half and half. Where? Sudbury. Sudbury, you came the furthest then so far. All right, thanks. <laughs> And you can always get a gauge of how busy things might be when you get to Tim Hortons. And as of right now, it's pretty quiet here. Just a very slow trickle of people coming in and that's really it. Uh, the people behind me uh, set up for the day. It's just gone 10 o'clock here in the morning and uh, down by the waterfront park in Crystal Beach. And they're from Toronto and Montreal. And as I go along, these people uh, sleeping, relaxing, because we've still got a long way to go. Uh, four hours before it starts. All right, not much going on down here. So I'm gonna head back over to Bay Beach where I was at seven o'clock this morning. On my way, I'll go and grab a coffee and see if the crowds are started uh, coming in down there. Uh, if I left the house, I was checking the 511 cameras and it's still pretty quiet on the QEW. So, uh, I don't think we're gonna be getting this big surge we anticipated. Pulled into the Crystal Beach Bistro. Grab a coffee from here. I have seen your YouTube Oh, you have? Oh, uh, yeah. wonderful. Well, I might as well put you guys in it then. <laughs> Finally got the coffee. Uh, fantastic service, lovely people in there. Uh, Crystal Beach, Mer Mercantile, Mercantile, whatever. So anyway, nice. I'm gonna have my coffee, relax a bit, then they get the other camera out. The crowds are starting to come in, but it's not absolutely packed like we anticipated or which we were led to believe. So uh, they are coming, but slowly, dribs and drabs. Um, I think we'll get a fairly good crowd, but we're not going to see thousands, trust me. We're not going to see like summer ice caves or anything like that. It's definitely going to be a lot smaller. But we're a couple of hours away now from the eclipse starting, so I'm going to run around, get a bit more footage and uh, take it from there. Quite a gathering behind me. 
uh, which is good to see. It is April, remember? We don't usually see people on this beach like this until May 2-4 weekend. Uh, so everyone's come here today uh, with one thing in common, the celestial solar eclipse, which has brought a lot of people together, a lot of people talking about the same subject and so on. So uh, it's a nice little gathering. Definitely not as busy as uh, Mayor Jim D. Daddy had mentioned in Niagara Falls. And to be quite honest, I really do strongly believe now, now I've seen it for real, is that the uh, state of emergency has backfired. And Niagara has declared a state of emergency ahead of next month's solar eclipse. Maybe it worked to their advantage, I don't know, but it's definitely keeping the crowds away right now. Um, we would, I would have thought of a, a thousand, maybe two, three, four thousand down here. I mean, on a good summer's day, we get two or three thousand down here easily. Uh, but just not got that crowd right now. So it's just a pretty poor turnout, really. And I think a lot have been scared away. You know what? I've never been in here before. Oh, never. My wife ordered a sub from here back in the day. You... Yeah. But... Oh, back in the day, that's more. Just want to thank uh, Ron and uh, Kim at the uh, Beach House restaurant for their hospitality. Just went in there, had a nice little bite to eat and a coffee. So uh, check them out this summer. Um, so yeah, nice, nice place, really nice. All right, it's 140 and the eclipse starts in about 24 minutes. And uh, I think the weathermen were right. Um, blue sky, uh, the clouds are starting to break up. Maybe we'll get lucky. Uh, we'll soon find out in the next uh, 20, 30 minutes. Uh, we have like an hour and a half to go until totality. Uh, so uh, fingers crossed, it keeps breaking up and uh, we'll get a nice show here. Pretty cool. Everyone just cheered as the sun came out. That brief ray of sunshine has now lifted the atmosphere on the beach. People are starting to get excited. There is a buzz. People are now putting the shades on, those special protective eyewear, and now looking up finally at the sun, which is trying to peek out from behind the clouds. Uh, many people are now setting up their telescopes and their cameras in anticipation uh, for this major event of the total eclipse of the sun. But the big question was, was the sun going to stick out? Would the clouds continue to break up? Time would only tell. We're now just minutes away from the total eclipse and there's still people trying to get onto the beach to capture this very, very moment. I'll tell you what, it's starting to look pretty good down here now. Crowds are showing up. Uh, do have some blue sky now popping in above us. Uh, we might get that lucky break we've all been looking for. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be good, I think. I think uh, a bit of cloud. There's actually quite a lot of blue sky coming right now. The clouds are moving to the east pretty quickly, and these folks might get a great show. Thank you. 
right, 15 minutes away from totality. Uh, getting a little cooler down here. Starting to feel it. Uh, we're about four minutes away from totality, so it should start getting dark pretty quick. All right, here it comes, totality. Um, yeah, sorry about the reading glasses, but I got the drone up. Oh, it's going dark pretty quick. Sadly for Crystal Beach and most parts of Niagara, the clouds won and the sun stayed hidden behind the clouds. Wow. But not to worry, what transpired after this was absolutely jaw-dropping. Enjoy. You can really see the darkness coming really fast now from the west. Here we go. Look at the colors over there. Holy shit, that's fucking cool. We got... Okay, it's beautiful sky on the horizon to the right. That is amazing. Wow. Now the drone's compensating for it and making different colors. Absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. It's absolutely stunning. <laughs> I just wanted to promote that. <laughs> Carefully, he'll put you on one of his videos. What an amazing view on the drone. <laughs> Oh, look at oh, that. Oh my goodness. Absolutely nice. stunning. We love it, nice. Wow. Tell people we're your fan club. <laughs> I will. It is uh, a neat experience, it really is. I missed the one in 1999 England. And I am, I'm glad I'm here for this one. All right, looking forward for uh, the daybreak coming back very shortly. Helicopter is uh, interfering with my drone here. <laughs> it is pretty cool. It's really cool. waited for the eclipse to uh, be fully before they did the fireworks.
All right, so there it is. It is over and done with the eclipse of 2024 for the Niagara region. And the mass exodus has now begun. Everyone's heading home. Um, might get the drone up very quickly now just to see how everyone is on the road very shortly because I'm sure it's going to be crazy around here. Uh, I'm going to be a while before I get out of here, so I'm going to take my time and be here for at least an hour, I think, before I get out. Hope you enjoyed the footage, especially the drone shots. And um, tell you what, if you've never been to Crystal, is this your first time down here at Crystal Beach and you were here for the eclipse or you've never been here before, think about coming down here for a vacation this summer. It's a beautiful spot and the community would really, really appreciate it if you came down here and supported the local economy. So uh, on behalf of me and everyone here in Crystal Beach, thanks for coming down and thanks for in, uh, joining the solar eclipse with us all.
tell you what, bloody typical, eh? Uh, the eclipse is virtually over now, and the sun's come out. <laughs> uh, an hour too late. <laughs>